Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back in Austin's Wood. This is where we hosted the community camp a couple of months ago. I'm out with Ben, he's just over there getting his kit squared away. And we're out here for four days. Got a few people coming down for a few drinks this weekend. It's Thursday today. Me and Ben are just out here just to film this video. So we're just gonna chill today. It's nice being in a permission woodland where we know we can kind of make as much noise as we want. We don't have to disappear or hide or anything. So we've camped on this edge because the sunrise is beautiful in the morning over here. Last time we camped right down the bottom, down there. You can't see anything obviously, but. <laughs> and as I'm chatting to you, I've just noticed there's loads of dog's mercury all over the woods. Not an edible. Thank you for watching the video. Cheers for coming back. Thank you so much. Honestly, it means a lot. Look at that sun coming through the trees. It's a lovely spot. Six acres this wood. What a morning for it though, man. I know, man. We're lucky this week. Yeah, we've been really lucky. To be lucky. fair though, we've been having a lot of rain on the past few camps. Well, if you think about it, man, it was glorious at the weekend when we were at work. I then took two days off because it was so nice. Yeah. I'm a pro at missing filming the buzzards. <laughs> there was two right above me just then, screeching away. Ben's making another bed. Shouldn't be bellows, Ben. It should be bed, Ben. Bellows, bed, Ben. Bed, bellows, Ben. He's well into the stretch of beds at the minute. All of the spots that we go to quite regular, he's trying to build a bed at. And he only has to do it once, and then he's got a spot every time he goes back. I don't know how I want this, you know. Pull that down and have two high sides. Yeah, unclip one or two more, definitely. That's sick. That's sick. Oh, that's what I forgot. I was going to bring a guitar today, my acoustic guitar. I'm going to drag the bed right up to this and use it as a headboard. Mate, this is going to be a sick little setup, man. Right, let's go and find a post for the tarp. I really love this woods. I like that there's loads of ash trees here too. There's firewood absolutely everywhere around here as well. Loads of ash to burn. Little woodpecker. There he goes. <laughs> well, here is today's setup ridge line and toggles again. It's kind of like a plow, but it's a bit more of a dome. I've got the pelt out with the Z light this time. I've doubled up, bivy bag as normal. Put the tools down here, cast iron skillet, the hand turned bowl by Alex, legend. Got both the axes in my water. But yeah, it looks really cool from the back. Just 
She's got some more pegs. I made a couple pegs. I think the shape's awesome. And I've got it nipped up just with a couple of the clips. Which brings a sharp edge to the back. I really like it. This one actually looks more like a stingray than what I call the stingray. Yeah, I agree. It's got the tail. <laughs> I know. It's cool though, isn't it? Yeah, I love it, man. Love it. Something different. The clips are the thing, innit? Anyway, you haven't said hello to everyone yeah. yet this morning. Hello, YouTube. Nice hat. Thanks, mate. Do you like it? <laughs> Shows your setup, then, boy. Mate. Yeah, yeah, setup. Sweet. Another stretch bed, obviously, because we're at uh, Austin's Woods again, obviously, so we'll be back again at some point. So I might as well do it. Uh, high. High slung, loads of headroom. Nice and slung. nice and flat as well, mate. Yeah, and I've got the best touch here though. Look. Oh, this Sweet. is the this is so cool. I've got all the setup here. I've got all the bits of bobs. Another Alex bowl there. I've got two chairs. He's got, got a chair one. in his setup. Chair in my setup and the low chair. The low chair and the saw and the axe are hanging there. Yeah, with your little, little table. table. Little table here. All my stuffs in there. It was meant to be. Yeah, it's beautiful. Work, right, please. And we know through Adam that was here camping at the community camp, it's Babbling Brooks on Instagram, he got some wicked photos of the sunrise over there. So the way our tarps are facing and the way we are, we're going to wake up to a nice sun hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. It's been gorgeous all morning, it's just got a little overcast now, but hopefully the whole weekend, a bit of sunshine. It was lovely last weekend, if we can get that. Proper nice. Yeah, if we can get that. Loads of King Alfred's cakes around here as well, because there's so many ash trees, but a lot of them are too damp to use, they need drying out. What are we doing now? Chilling for a bit? Put yeah, some music on? Chill for a bit. Chill for a bit. Right. Make some firewood in a little while. Good to go. <whistles> Finish it. And all my kitchen cooking bits there. Because we're on permission ground, I thought I'd just get all the kit out. It's nice and easy to get to. Don't have to pack anything away in a hurry. I really like the look of the setup. I've decided I'm going to put a post on this side just to finish the job because I really like the tight, straight angles on my tarp setup. So when it's flapping around, it kind of puts me off. Let's get some wood in, brother. Nice catch. Even the wood on the ground is pretty yeah. dry. I know. A little bit, but look at this though. There's this everywhere. Yeah, that's a good one, mate. That's a good one. Whoa. No flies in the forest! No flies in the forest! No flies in the forest! <laughs> no flies in the forest! You just got de-hatted. Yeah, I got de-hatted. I am so stoked to be back out. You. I don't know if you've already spoke about this, but I really like this as well. Uh, mine is pulling yours. Holding each other up, mate, just like me and you, dude. <laughs> just like me and you, dude. <laughs> Here's the finished setup then. Three posts on this one. Got two peaks. Looks mega. It's pretty cold, but the sun's still out shining nice. It's really nice though. Sounds like some woodland management going on or something over the road. Yeah, someone's up some firewood. Imagine owning your own wood, mate. Might have been epic, mate. Chop, 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 chopping. Chop, 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 chopping. Chainsaws are killing the nature vibe, man. Yeah, they are. Oi lads, pack it in mate. It's 
not the easiest ground to make a fire pit on, is it? No, to be fair though, you don't really need one on the ground like this. You just need to get rid of all the debris, all the roots. It's such hard, muddy ground. Not in the pine now. That's it, solid mud. Yeah. We're going down to Austin's little shelter. We're gonna go and grab Lee's grill. Sorry Lee, hope you don't mind. We're gonna borrow your grill tonight. Just to put the Dutch ovens on. We're gonna make some pizzas. Homemade pizzas inside the Dutch ovens. Well, kinda homemade. We bought the bases, didn't we? We just put the toppings on them. We're just putting the toppings on. Half homemade. In the Dutchies. It's a trial run, isn't it? Trial run, first time. Yeah. So the second fire pit's still here. I don't think Austin's been back too many times. Uh, it looks pretty much how we left it. Everything's still intact from Storm Eunice. Yeah, yeah he's built the shelter pretty well. There's even a bag of, uh, it's not what you think it is. I think that's Austin's pipe tobacco, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. We're in good shape. Got a little buck saw. Come on then, mate, let's get you up the top. It only feels like five minutes ago we were here now, it? It does. What a vibe, man. Like, literally, you can feel it. You can still feel the vibe yeah, from the community can. camp around here, man. Little mini, little mini community camp for all of our mates. Well, it's going to be what? Just everyone around one fire. So yeah. it'll, it'll be like that night was just around the one fire. It does look like a bald eagle. I think that settles the name. Sorry, Ben. Sorry, Nearly tripped over you, mate. Yeah, well, mate. That settles the name, the bald eagle. One of the classics. And one of my favourites. Looks like you've bought one of Hazy's axe sheaths. Him and Joey D both got their axes stuck in a log and they ended up just carrying them around saying it was the new fashionable sheath. Oh, God. <laughs> Austin and Sean are here. Hey, hey How's it going, lads? Bushcraft gear. <laughs> Straight from the site, is it? Straight from the office? Yeah, mate, straight from training. <laughs> Bushcraft boots. Go on, lad. Ooh. Killing it. <laughs> Look how bright this head torch is. It's by through night. They sent it to me last year. It's got two settings on it. It's got a normal glow. And then you can bosh. Put this super bright mode on. So I'm just walking around looking for some really fine twigs to put on straight after the tinder. This is all nice and dry, this will take lovely. Got a nice wood pile at the camp. I am in process of sorting out the details of the next community camp as well. It's going to be up near Scarborough, we're going to have one up north. There's going to be another one down south, and then there's going to be another one in Wales, and then there's going to be one in Scotland. So we're trying to cover all areas. I've, I'm talking to various people. Got some definite yeses for use of grounds, use of the woods. It's just sorting dates when I'm free. Going to go up with Ben and Recky some of these spots, and then I'll be putting out the invitations slash applications. You know what I mean. Life. Sorry, we're getting a little bit carried away. It's all good, mate. It's good for the nature. It makes the pheasants know who's boss. Ash fire boys. Thank you to my boy Charlie McDowell for the easy breezy session 3.6. It's a local Suffolk beer. 
Cheers, dude. Oh. That's a nice job. Try that, Ben. Nice, easy 3.6 session. Easy geezer, local, local Suffolk beezer. Yeah. Have a little spin on that. Nice oh, and yeah. light. Yeah, that's easy. I like that. That's nice. I like that a lot. Rated. Yeah, I like that. Ben's just stuck them on to preheat. Happy as Larry, mate. Happy as Larry. Couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier, mate. Couldn't be happier, boy. Six setups today, man. I really dig that chair that's in yours. Yeah, man. You'll have to spend a bit of time there tonight just because. Just because. Yeah, <laughs> because, what, because you've got a chair in your setup. Because absolutely, I have. I've got three <laughs> chairs in my setup. Yeah. I'm looking forward to prepping these pizzas, man. They're going to be good tonight. I can feel it. Mm. We've got plenty of good toppings. What we've got chicken, sausage, pepperoni, mozzarella, Cheese. cheddar, yeah. dried onions as well. Dried onions. I've got my Petromax FT 4.5. I like the way Thanks, yours guys. Got, I like your way yours has got the legs to really flip it over and use the pan. Oh, and the lid? Yeah. yeah. Works a treat, man. We've cooked breakfast in here, haven't we? Yeah. That's a good idea. Sunny afternoons. You look like a Viking, Austin. He is a Viking. Uhtred, son of Battenberg. <laughs> <laughs> that was classic, bro. Dude, I'm excited to try pizzas in the Dutchie, man. Yeah, so am I, man. I really am. Never tried it before. Bro. Little shout out to Marmaduke Creations. Still absolutely love this little seeker. It's such a beautiful looking knife. It glistens in the light as well. Lovely. Dude, I'm a sucker for these Madison sausages, man. Yeah, they're so good. Mate, that's going to be so good. That's good to go in, mate. Yeah. Austin shooting. Thanks, bro. Cheers for coming down. Thanks for letting us come again as well, man. No worries. Always appreciated, bro. No worries. Work calls. <laughs> You've got to do what you got to do, man. You're the boss man now. Enjoy your night out. Enjoy See you, the stars. Dude. Enjoy your food. Thanks, bro. Have a good night. Getting there. Mine still needs a little longer for me. Yeah. I'll push that quicker than yours. Look how that's turned out. Couldn't have come out any better, could it? That's wicked, mate. Why didn't we think of this sooner? I don't know, man. Get tucked in, boy. I'm looking forward to this. The calzone style, bro. You got mayo? I've got the Pyrenees. Oh, yes. No messing about. Number two's in the oven for you. Yeah. I can honestly say that is next level with the Perronades as well. Spot on. Yeah. It's turned into a bit of a long fire, hasn't it? Yeah. Have a good sleep, man. See you in the morning, bro. See you in the morning, bro. Into the abode we go. Oh, 
pretty sorted. Adi Rondak. Adi Rondak. Morning, Al. Morning. Bucket Hat Club are assembling. Bucket Hat Club are assembling. With the rusty hat boys. I love this one. Happy belated birthday to Thomas Pastor, my Canadian brother. I know you enjoy the videos. Hope you had a good day, mate. I hope all is well. And your dad's a legend. So I know that Sherwood Quick Quiver hasn't been in the videos for a while, but he's been so busy off on his adventures while camping. He's been on loads of trips. He's at the van now. I'm going to go meet him. And he's going to show you guys some of the footage from some of the trips he's been on recently. Hi, Sherwood. Welcome back, mate. Tell everyone how you've been then. Cheers brother, nice to catch up with you man. Get a lot of messages on Instagram from people saying how they think I'm such a happy, outgoing, kind person. And to be honest, it hasn't always been like that. It hasn't always been that. I'm trying to be a much better person these days because it's exhausting being depressed. It's exhausting having no motivation, as mad as that sounds, it's tiring. If you're kind to people and you show people with a little bit of respect and you know, you really do treat people how you want to be treated, life's good man. I get a bit of a kick out of being a better person these days. I don't know, it makes me feel happy. And I owe a lot of it to Ben. That's why mine and Ben's friendship is so good. We're so close because Ben's been the guy that's always really listened. He's a wise man. He's helped me through a lot of situations. He's always been there for me. He's picked me up when I'm down. And that's why we're so close. I do that for Ben as well. We are proper friends. He's only been doing this a few months and he's absolutely smashing it. It's so nice to have Ben out on the camps. I've been loving his company. He's got so many fresh ideas and as you can tell, he's really creative. So I've been loving going camping with Ben and it's so good to have a friend like that. If you're bottling anything up, it really is a weight off your shoulders if you just talk to someone. Talk to your friends. Talk, open up. It feels good and you'll thank me for it. But doing nice shot, good shot, sir. I'd leave you. I'd leave you too. I'd leave you stranded on a desert island leave me alone. with nothing but the hairs on your back and an underground bunker full of rum. Oh, baby, would you lash together a, a raft with sea turtles? I'll lash you. Cheers, brother. Cheers, brother. Good drop. What a present from our favourite Australian, Richie. Caribbean Spice Rum, proudly supporting the conservation of Hawksbill turtles in the Caribbean. Every bottle funds turtle conservation projects in the Caribbean, helping protect the environment of Hawkshill turtle and preserve its future. And not only that, he's even gifted me a little kangaroo keyring. I love Australia. And an awesome custom hip flask. Happy birthday, Mr. EAB. Craigo, have a cracking weekend, my brother. Love Richie. Thank you so much, dude. Yes, Richie, lad. What's up, brother? Thanks for the gifts, bro. Nah. You absolute legend. No worries, you're the legend, mate. Oh, man, Enjoy thank you it. so Night much. Cap, take it forever. I'll be supping that throughout the weekend, my bro. Happy birthday, brother. Happy thank birthday. You. KD, two for zero. Well in, lid. Nice hat, brother. Cracking the tinnies. Like a woodland sniper. We're on the beers, lads. It's five o'clock yeah. somewhere. I'll drag them logs out, will you? Because that's you right there. Oof. When I said it, I was like being well cocky here, but I actually got it. Hi, 
I'm not just touching up your leg, I promise. Not me, mate. The green on there. I was going to rock the hammock this weekend, but then I thought, yeah. I'll tell you what, that waxing. Whew. I forgot to bring it as well, by the way. I thought I was going to bring you a bunch of wax, aren't I? I've got a load, man. Oh, have you got Thank a load? You, yeah. All right, cool. Bert Reynolds, look, check it out. I love your video, mate. Mm. Spirits don't doubt the push bar four. It all goes in one cup, it's awesome. And then you put your bracket on top and your cup slots in. Yep. Ready to go. Yeah. I'm glad I don't This camp looks awesome. You do bushcraft right now. How are you? Are you really drunk? Yeah. I'm, I'm really good night now. So. I've got the whole night in me. Look at all these chicken wings on there too, yeah, look, from yeah, Richie's. Yeah, it's good form now, mate, isn't it? Yeah, man. Oh, Lee, say hello to the vlog, brother. Hello, vlog. Look at Hippie Swift hiding over there. <laughs> Eating his chicken. Top man. Yeah. Whoa! You don't like that, Gabriel? No, it's the fluffy thing on top of it. <laughs> Great, man, why you got a squirrel on your camera?